Y'all see my ring, y'all? Hold on. Focus. Yeah. Y'all see my ring. Period. everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new hey boo but if this is your second third fourth fifth sixth however many times you've come back thank you so much for coming back today we're going to be doing a q and a because i want y'all to get to know me a little better and ask me a couple questions so i'm not gonna ramble but i'm using my camera so like i'm trying not to look at the viewfinder okay but i'm gonna get into the video so let's go so the first question is could we collab once i get back on youtube can we not for real <laughs> yeah we can you just gotta tell me what video you want to do and then hit me up and then i'm gonna be like what's up how you doing let me stop but yeah <laughs> So the next question is what are you currently working on and currently I'm working on rebranding and I'm not going to get into too much detail because y'all don't need to know all of that but yeah that's basically what I'm working on. The next question is what motivates you to keep going? So basically what motivates me to keep going is for one seeing how much I've been helping other people. Like I always say I know that I went through everything for a reason so if my reason is to help bring other people out, then why would I like not keep going? And then another thing that keeps me going or keeps me motivated is seeing how much I'm growing myself. So when I don't see that I'm growing, it's like, okay, what's the point? But like when I see how much I'm growing, how much I'm changing, it's like, yes, girl, keep going, keep leveling up. When do you plan on having kids? Honestly, I want to have kids when I'm like 26. 27-ish, maybe. Yeah. When and what made you start dancing? I've been dancing since I was like six. It's been on and off. When I was little, one of the main things that just made me like snap into getting into all the flexibility and stuff is when me and my family, like we were having dance competitions and then it was this one girl that did a split on me and I ain't like that. I was not going for that because I used to win like all of them. And so then just her doing a split, she automatically won apparently. So that's been like my motivation to like get into all of that. And then I saw videos on like YouTube and stuff and that's when I started dancing. What's a fast? Ooh, well, crap. What's a fast method to help lose weight? Some of the ones would be probably fasting at a certain time at night. Stop eating after like six or eight. Cut off snacks. Start eating at a certain time during the day. I don't know, but basically you just gotta discipline yourself. Yeah, Google is your best friend. So this question, <laughs> this question is how do you get over a boy who's not yours? Boo, you just move on. You go find you another man that can be yours, that don't have no problem with making you his. And yeah, let me stop. But honestly what I did because you know you can't have everybody you basically just focus on yourself and do everything for yourself that you want that guy to do and that helped me a whole lot instead of running to some other boy but honestly we all do it so yeah just do you boo do you oh and you can't control him and you can't tell him how he feels or what he should want or try to force him to be with you because if it's forced then it's not genuine so just say bye it's plenty of other guys that want you and you just go get them go get them girl the next question is what are some of my biggest pet peeves okay smacking when you eat do not smack around me please because nobody wants to hear no no, that's just, that just really gets on my nerves. Um, people walking slow in front of me really gets on my nerves. If you hear or see people behind you, you shouldn't just be walking like, like, ugh. Another thing that's gonna hurt a lot of y'all feelings is when people come in my DMs trying to make me into like a sex item or a sex object that really gets on my nerves and like i don't think guys get it but like do not 
do not ever in your life come into my DMs talking about, oh, you looking sexy, them dance moves looking sexy. I wonder what you can do with that because I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing. So chill out. I do not. Yeah, that's just an automatic turn off. Like, get out of my DMs. I won't respond to you. What do you look for in a partner? <laughs> I'm tired of niggas. <laughs> I don't wanna. Let me stop, okay. Um, what do I look for in a partner? Besides the loyalty, honesty, all of that stuff, I really want someone who's consistent. I really want someone who supports me to the fullest extent, and just someone who loves me just as much as I love them or who wants me just as much as I want them. It's just not a lot. You just gotta be, you gotta be tall. You gotta be cute. You gotta love God. You gotta love yourself. You gotta have goals. And just know how to take care of me because I'm a full package. Don't play with me. How do you pray? I thank God, I repent, and then Whatever is on my heart the heaviest, I just pray first, and then I pray for myself. Yeah, it's not really a formula that I go by. You just pray. But I'm going to do a video on that because I feel like I can go more in depth if I do a separate video. What are my self-care hacks? Honestly, I don't have any. Like, that sounds so weird coming from a female, but I really don't do anything special in the slightest what's a good company to go to for photo shoots honestly i don't know i'm looking for some myself you can hit up cam he did my pictures that i haven't shown yet oh and then jamie she did the pictures from my last photo shoot and i really i really don't know so if you find any just let me know because i would love to find some companies to do photo shoots with who is your hero I could do the cliche, Jesus is my hero, but I'm not finna do that. I would say my mom, honestly. She's always been there for me. She's been somebody I can look up to. She's helped me out of a lot of situations. So that's my girl, that's my bestie, that's my homie, period. Hey mom, how do you keep your faith so strong? When I saw that, I was like, dang, like, I don't know. But honestly, I'm not perfect. I hope that I'm not given the impression that I'm just this perfect, safe person and my faith is all the way up here 24 seven because that is not the case. I pray, read the Bible, and then I remember what he's done for me and then I like hearing other people's testimonies because those help a lot because even when you seem like you're in the toughest situation ever some people may have had it 10 times worse and then he's come through for them so why would he not come through for you if that makes sense after being in a friendship for years how do you explain to that person that you think you're growing apart learn from my mistakes and just please talk to the person do not not talk to them like it's gonna hurt either way but I feel like it's better to be more upfront than to like hide it how do you deal with not reaching your goals and if it's out of my control I kind of just try to put that in God's hands like if I wanted to go to an audition and I didn't get it I just like consider it as not for me. If it's a goal that I'm just sitting here like, okay, Asia, you gotta do this by this certain date, you gotta do this. If it's not some like mandatory thing, I honestly, it sounds bad, but I kinda just brush it off and I just keep going until I achieve it because we really put time limits on ourselves. So I've learned not to be as hard on myself and that has made me feel so much better, but you really just gotta keep pushing. So where do you see yourself in 10 years? I would like to be married. I would like to have started my family already. Um, and then if I'm settled into like one place, I would like to open up my dance studio. 
and grow it into one of the largest, bestest dance studios in the world. If I do get into modeling for real, that's something that I would want to do as well. But I just want to be successful. Like, that's really where I see myself in less than 10 years. What are the struggles that I've met with starting my business? One of the main things that I've struggled with was knowing what I wanted. Instead of like planning stuff out and doing everything right, I just went with the flow. So that was very much a struggle. And then I was just doing everything by myself. So that is really hard to do. What is something that I wish I would have told myself two years ago? I wish that I would have told myself to love myself for real. Since like March, I've really been like focusing on myself and learning myself and learning to love myself. And like, it's been amazing figuring out how much easier life can be when you really love yourself. Would I ever date a girl? <laughs> no offense to any of y'all, but no, I would never date a girl. That's, that, that's not me, that's not me at all, at all in the slightest or have anything sexual with a girl no 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 i would not what is my worst relationship experience my worst relationship experience would be getting cheated on that's that was hard but how was it being in a relationship with someone new after not having been with someone for so long it was it was really hard. And when you have to deal with one guy doing certain stuff and you just already get accustomed to it and then you gotta start over and then deal with different ways, it's like, what the heck? So honestly, it was it was very aggravating. Were you as sad when the relationship ended as you were the last one? Was I as sad as my recent relationship ending versus my last one? No. You got like almost five years and then like six months. I'll use some of the lessons I learned from my first heartbreak for my second relationship. Like I learned how to not give a guy my all, to have a life outside of a relationship, to learn to love myself and it helped a lot, but I was still sad, so yeah. How has your clientele increased since the first dance class you had until now? And honestly, it's increased a lot. Some days are better than others, but ultimately, I have a lot of people that come to me and we be turning it up. Where do you see Asian Danae Enterprises going in the future? And like I said, a dance studio, a large dance studio, probably a traveling dance studio or a mobile dance studio. Yeah. Have I ever had a man tell me I'm spoiled? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm very spoiled and like I can't help that. So definitely I have. Another question that I got today, the question is why am I so difficult and I'm not difficult. I'm very simple. If I'm difficult, I don't know what to tell you, but like sorry i'm not thank you Ugh. what is my business i know y'all was probably going through the video trying to figure out like what do you do okay <clears throat> i should have put on my shirt okay so hey everybody my name is asia danae i am the ceo of asia danae enterprises so my business is basically to help empower and encourage people all over the world and I really just want to like embrace self-love and confidence and I've done that by hosting my own dance classes okay, so my dance things are sensual healing and divine extension so far I'm still adding on to it but my sensual healing is a heels dance class where you come in and you get healed and heals. So like dance is a form of healing. So I want people to come in and just feel themselves, love themselves, grow, heal, 
feel the moves, do what you gotta do, wear what you wanna wear, whatever. This whole YouTube, my social media, and all that stuff, I still want to like push the self love, confidence thing. I wanted to create a safe space for everybody to just be who they are because being in this world it's like you gotta pretend to be people that you're not or pretend to be a certain way just to fit in but in my classes i literally want you to be yourself and just have fun and then divine extension is a stretching class that i have not started yet but it's coming these questions came from this live that i did on depression and sex and being saved so the first question is is it hard being saved without sex and i believe that when you start to have sex it's harder walking with god because you want to keep doing it and sex before marriage is a sin is hard stopping do I find that many people are using drugs to help with depression? Yeah, I see a lot of people using drugs to help with depression and it's not helping y'all. It's just like a coping mechanism and y'all are temporarily getting y'all a little high and then y'all are still depressed. So turn to Jesus like I always say. Is it hard dating being saved? I feel like it's not hard dating being saved as long as you're doing the right things. Um, if you get light with somebody who's on the same salvation level, y'all really want to go after Jesus, I feel like it'll be easier. Do you find that they tell you that they are saved just for sex? Yeah, they gonna tell you that they saved, that they love Jesus because that's what a lot of girls say they want. They want a man that loves God and yeah, they be saying that so they can get with you, then they want to get in your drawers and jump. What advice can I give my viewers on how to overcome depression? I have a video on overcoming depression if you want to check that out. But like I said, recognizing that it's a spirit, praying, calling it by its name, um, finding stuff that makes you happy. You really just got to fight and push through and pray and come against every attack that's coming in in your mind and make sure that you're listening to the right things and that the right things are coming into your spirit do i think that my passion for dance helped me through and it definitely did like i said i went through my bad breakup last year so the summertime i was dancing and it definitely helped and like i said in the video sometimes the very thing that the enemy may want you to stop doing is the very thing you need to be doing so if you feel like you're being tempted not to do your passion or just stop and doing whatever your heart wants to do basically then do it and it'll help you too um did i ever want to take my life no i thought about it but i knew i wasn't gonna do it the ending is not good based on what i grew up believing in addition to getting information from the word of god your spiritual leaders what advice or experience could you offer when it comes to getting advice from those you deem as friends it's really hard because your friends they don't always know what you're going through or they won't always like oh crap they won't always understand you or like actually feel what you're feeling so they can just be like oh it's okay we just finna go get our nails done and you'll feel better or whatever but that's not the case at all so honestly i feel like your friends can't help you but if you have other people that actually know what it's like to be depressed and to know what it's like to go through what you went through go to those people i wouldn't say keep it from them but like you don't have to try to go to them to like hold you down or try to help you feel better all the time because it's not always going to work but yeah that is the end of this video i really hope that y'all enjoyed and thank you for watching remember that jesus loves you and i love you too and i see you in the next video i see you in the next video y'all hey, hey. see my ring y'all hold on focus yeah y'all see my ring period